Hello, hello, my beautiful jammies. How are you, my sweet ones? You know I love you. Thank you so very much for having patience with me and understanding. You know, as gems, we're always going, going, going um, and expanding and moving. So thank you. I also want to thank you guys for really loving and for always loving and supporting me and supporting and loving those new psychics and tarot readers. I really appreciate your support. So thank you so much. If you're brand new and this is your first time watching this video, welcome. My name is Cindy. I'm a psychic medium, a spiritual advisor, hypnotherapist, and holistic life coach. Um, if you found us and you stay, then you resonate and you have joined your soul group. You're part of the soul group. So welcome. Um, this is a very beautiful, sweet, loving group. Um, so my beautiful ones, uh, because the new tarot readers were doing the love readings, um, that's freed me up and I wanted to introduce another re another spread to you guys. This is going to be in your life area, um, in different aspects of your life. Um, so some people will call this a calendar spread or a zodiac spread. I just call it a life spread and I changed some of the stuff too. So, excuse me, I had the hiccups. So my beautiful ones, um, let's get started. This is going to be for the month of August uh, in your life area. So your forecast for your life area. Okay. Now in your first position, sorry, I'm getting the hiccups. Um, in your first position, this is you. So this is sort of your stance in life. This is how you're going to be uh, viewing and dealing with things in the month of August. Um, in your whole life area so you have the four of swords so I feel like in the month of August you'll be trying to decide which ones what areas to focus on and what areas to let go of for now so you're not closing those things you're just sort of resting them okay and because I feel like you you guys have been working and working and working so hard and you don't want to get to the point where you're so depleted. So you've decided to sort of, before that happens, sort of take note and see what I want to focus on. What is more important right now? Um, I know everything's important to me, but what, are the, what is the one thing or the two things or the three things that I need to focus on and reorganize? So that's kind of how I feel. I feel like you'll be resting more. And that's a good thing for you, Gems, because you can go and go and go, and then you just sort of peter out because you've just expended all your energy. So um, in the second position, this is your finances and your things, so your material things. Um, you have the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords tells me for some of you, I do feel like someone comes in to help you, and they're another air sign. I feel a lot of Libra. Um, and this is, a, and they're, they come here to help you, um, bring you things, help you see a new way, help you out if you're, you know, if you have a bump in, you know, in the road. Um, this, and the thing is, is I see, cause I see a lot of Libras, other Geminis as well, but I do see a lot of Libras. Um, you've helped them and ground them and helped them in, many times. These are friends of yours or, or co-workers of yours or acquaintances um, and some of you don't even realize that you've helped them as much as you've helped them but as a Libra you know they have that thing where they can't make a decision because they're weighing all the options until it balances out they won't make a decision but you sort of helped them in that way to see and so because you've helped them they want to help you okay so um, what Spirit wants to say about your finances is in the month of August, they want you to step into your swords. They want you to step into your Gemini self um, when you look at your finances. So a sword is very noble. That's a very noble queen. That's a very noble king. They have things because it is. They know things because it is. Uh, they do things because it is. You know. So what, what Spirit say with your finances if you believe and know that that money is there for you then it is and when you do that it's going to come or it's going to be here you can have anything you want 
but they're trying to help you have a better relationship with your finances so that you can allow and accept more. So what they're saying is just know that it is, okay? Now in your um, third position, this is your communication. Um, yeah, and short journeys. I don't feel like, uh, hmm, I don't know. Some of you will have offers to go on journeys. Yeah, some of you will have offers to go on, on a small trip, on a small day trip. You know, you will get offers. Um, but it'll cause you to, I mean, you'll have to like take an action. You'll have to think fast and do fast and sort of reorganize things. But that's okay. You can do that easily. That's not a problem. Um, I do feel like someone is here to help you. See, I kind of feel here too. You're going to get a lot of help in the month of August, I think. Um, I do feel like you'll get more offers in whatever area you've been concentrating on or focusing on or working on. You're going to get offers in that. That's kind of what I'm feeling. The people are here to help you in the month of August. Um, now, in your fourth position, this is your home and family. Now, in the month of August, you have someone coming back into your life. Okay? This could be romantic. This could be family. Um, but I see that they they want to be with you. They want to patch things up with you. I do feel that with you guys. Um, and remember, when someone comes back into your life, they're here to remind you of what you want and what you don't want. Now, when they come back, just let them show you what it is that they're here for. You don't have to, like, take all this action and be their friend or be their lover or, or overthink it. Just wait and see. See what it is that they want. See what it is. See the reason that it is that they're here. They'll show you. They'll show you. Even if they don't tell you, they'll show you. And when they do, then you can decide. Do I want this person here or do I not want this person here? Do I want this relationship or do I not want this relationship? Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, some of you it's with siblings. Some of you it's with parents. Some of you it's with cousins. Some of you it's with lovers. Okay. Um, I will say if it was a lover, it was because you guys were very close. Okay, so in your fifth position, this is your pleasure, romance, and creativity. So I do feel like you're still working on allowing someone in. You're still working on expanding on your romance and accepting that you can still play and not work so hard because you've, you've, been, you've had to work so hard to clean up, not clean up your life, but organize your life. You had to work so hard to get out of that trauma that you've been through, okay? And then you just sort of have been working, 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 and you forgot to play. And you're learning more to play again. You're learning to sort of balance that out. So Spirit wants you to know, just continue to do what you're doing because you're doing just fine. I do feel like in the month of August, You'll be working on something, and you are going to have a creative moment, okay? I do feel like you do have a creative moment. Um, I feel like as you're working on something, you see a different idea for it, like a different way to go with it, okay? So, congratulations. You're at a three, which means uh, you're not there yet. It's not time to rest yet. It's just um, continue to do what you're doing. Okay, now, in your sixth position, this is your health matters and day-to-day -day work. So, I do feel like um, you guys need to get back to working on yourself physically. That's what I feel like. I feel like you have these ideas and you know what you need to do and you used to have a routine and you need to get back to that. That's what I'm feeling. In the month of August, you'll be working on that. So, because it's in your head, it's in the mental realm. You know what you have to do, you know what you like, you know what you don't like, you know some of you like hiking, you know some of you like weightlifting, you know some of you like uh, nutrition, you know some of you like yoga, all kinds of different things. Basketball, you know, s soccer, hockey, um, all kinds of different things. You know what you like, you just keep thinking, well I'm going to start it, I'm going to start it, but then you don't. 
So I feel like Spirit's saying, take an action. Get back to that because that helps you balance yourself. When you're exercising and then mentally working, then you sort of balance mental, physical, and spiritual. Okay? Um, in your seventh position, this is your partnerships, personal and business. Yeah, let me make sure. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So your partnership, personal and business. I feel like you see possibilities. I feel like you kind of have a direction you want to go in. Um, and I feel like you've received some things. But in the month of August, you'll be seeing and receiving more things. This is the thing. You guys have just begun. There's so much more to attain, to allow, to receive. Um, and you sort of are understanding that in the month of August. So you'll see people bringing you offers. You'll see people, things sort of opening up for you. Uh, in the romance, in the finance, in the career, in the life purpose, in the home and family, to sort of see things like, yeah, that's where I'm going, or that's where it is, or it's right here, okay? So that's what you'll be working on in the month of August. Um, both personal and business, yeah. Yeah. So in your eighth position, this is your major life changes. So I feel like in the month of August, you'll be understanding that there are some things that you do have to stand for. Um, instead of going back and forth, back and forth, you can have everything that you want. You just have to say it, take a stance, have a knowing. So fight for it. And you're not going to be fighting with anybody but yourself. But like fight fight for it and say no this is what I want and this is what I can have and you know that part of you that says well I have to work for it or I'm not worthy of it or you know I kind of feel like that's who you need to fight with you need to understand that no you don't have to just stay what you want and stand for it stand for it okay um, and that means that does not just mean with yourself. It's mostly yourself, but there are people that you have to take a stand and say, no, you're not going to treat me this way. No, I'm not going to allow this. Yes, I like the way that, that, that you treat me. Yes, I do like, I do want you in my life. So take a stand. All right. Now, in your ninth position, this is your long distance travel and philosophy of life. I do feel like some of you, very few of you will have long distance travel. Because I do see it over water. It's funny, I do see cruises. Um, but most of all, Spirit wants you to know that you're coming out of that bumpy, bumpy ride. That you're now, like you've, like you've realized that you're not in that bumpy, bumpy ride anymore. On that bumpy, bumpy ride anymore. It's been calm for you, but you're, you're, waiting for it to get bumpy again and spirit saying no it's not going to get bumpy again it's going to stay and get even more calmer and even more stable so just continue but they want you to know that okay now in your 10th position this is your career you have more offerings coming so from nowhere in the month of august you are going to be receiving offerings and i don't see one offering i see a couple of offerings for some of you for some of you, it's just one, but for some of you, it's a, it's more than two. <laughs> it's actually more than two. So congratulations. Um, this offering for some of you is a new loved one. Uh, this offering for some of you is in your career. But I, the reason I'm saying it's a loved one is because they may come and offer you something for your career or your life purpose, but then they may become romantic with you. Okay. Um, but you do get offerings. It's quick, it's fast, and it's out of nowhere. Like you're doing something and then bam, something comes to you and you're like, what? I, I didn't even know this person was, I was, this, I was on this person's radar. Okay, so congratulations. Um, in your 11th position, these are your friends. This is your friends. Um, you have the five of swords. So 
I do feel like some things are going to come to light. Um, the way that people have treated you, uh, the way that people are viewing you, some things are going to come to light and it's going to be for the better because some of them have done some things to you and you don't even know it yet. And that's, that's going to come to light. It's not bad. It's just, well, I mean, you might think it's bad, but it's, it's just that even if they did it behind your back, it's going to come to light. You're going to find out. And it's going to be for the better so that you can understand who that person is in your life. For others of you, I see it the other way too. Uh, things are going to come to light because people are watching you. People are liking what you're doing. People want to be around you. And I feel like that will come to light. You'll get notoriety, some of you. So congratulations. Uh, either way, it's for the better. It's so that you're clearing, so that you're not making the mistakes that you made before, so that you're very, very clear about who you want in your life and who you don't want in your life, okay? So congratulations, my jammies. You worked very, very hard. Now, in your 12th position, this is from your higher self. So your higher self wants you to know you do have this, the beginnings of another thing coming. You are... Yeah, not just that, they're also saying all the things that you're receiving now and all the things that you're going to be receiving in August, that is just the ace. That is just the beginning. You have so much more coming. It's just going to, because it's funny, I see that and then I see it growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. It just grows. It just gets bigger. And that's what your higher self wants you to know. Continue to do what you're doing. Okay, you're doing so well. Now, in your 13th position, this is your outcome. This is what Spirit wants you to know. Um, and this is what you'll be sort of working on or around or about in this month of August. You have the Knight of Cups. So, I'm going to say this. A lot of you have a Knight coming. A lot of you have a person coming into your life um, on the romantic level. Yeah. And a lot of you have persons coming into your life um, that gives you that emotional bonding with them. They understand you, you understand them, and they're good for you. It's what you need. So you get, and, and they're offering things to you. They're going to help you. I feel like you're going to get help this month. You gems do not like to ask for help. You do things on your own. And you're learning that you need to ask for help. That, that, well, that you don't need to, but that you're happier when you, when you let that guard down and let someone in. And so that's kind of what you're working on in this next month. Um, people are here. They want to help you. They, wanna, they want you to succeed. There are people, in your, some of you, in your life, that don't, that are jealous, that do get that. And I know that some of you have had that all your life where people are jealous of you, but not now. Those things are going to clear, those people are going to clear out. And the people that are coming into your life now, they want to help you. They want to see you succeed. They want to see you be all of you. Okay? So, congratulations, my Jimmy. I love you, love you, love you. Thank you so very much. For liking, subscribing, uh, and sharing your Indigo Path. I really, really appreciate you and am humbled. For my services, you can go to your IndigoPath.com. Love you, love you, love you. Bye.